Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Ashley. If you would like to be a part of the Fitness Fits You community, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. So today is the recording for day 10. So today's question is from off a social media platform. I do not know who this person is. It's a very long question. She says, first of all, I'm sucking my stomach in as if my life depended on it and holding back chunks and upper body blubber like nobody's business. Okay, so here's my question. I'm currently on a low carb diet. In January, I weighed 210 pounds. I am now 199. I have no specific number goal. Although I think I although I think 185 pounds will look good on me, all I know is this upper body fat has to go. I'm aware that while I'm losing my stomach, my butt is going to go with it, with it. Is there anything I can do to try to hold on to my butt as I'm losing weight? Or should I just say goodbye to my butt now? Can you have a shapely bum on a low-carb diet? Help, please. So, the butt, we all want to keep the butt. We want the butt. If we don't have a butt, we want to get a butt. And when you're losing weight, as I spoke about in my last video, that your body is going to lose weight fat all over and as we are genetically shaped i'm very leg dominant so when i gain weight my legs tend to be bigger or a little bit thicker as most people would call it but that does not necessarily mean you're healthy and you don't want anything a part of your body that's unhealthy regardless if it's breasts or legs or butt or arms if it's unhealthy you do not want it so if you have a big butt quote unquote if it's loaded with fat that is an unhealthy butt that is no different from having a stomach in the front so some people literally do not carry a lot of weight in their stomach they carry a lot of weight in their butt they carry a lot of weight in their arm the lower part of their legs like you can carry weight in other areas than most people but that's the that does not mean you want to keep it because it's quote unquote big and society wants you to have these, you know, this nice butt with this nice little chest. So if you have an unhealthy butt that is full of fat, get rid of it. Get rid of the fat. So yes, you're going to lose your butt that you currently have because it's full of fat. But guess what? You can replace that fat with muscle. So you can literally go from a nice juicy butt of fat to a nice healthy we it's going to look juicy but it's going to be a nice round butt full of muscle muscle burns fat so the more muscle you have on your body the more fat your body would burn like right now my arms are a little bit toned because i've been working on my arms and my legs are a little bit toned because i've been working on my legs so as i'm sitting here talking to you i'm burning fat because i'm starting to gain muscle through weight training lifting weights or resistant training so you don't necessarily have to go and pick up a ton of weight to um, gain muscle or tone up but you have to have some resistance and that's going you're going to either invest in some five pound to 15 pound dumbbells or you're going to invest in some resistant bands the the long ones the short ones the glute resistant bands if you just not oh, i don't want to really tussle with weights you don't have to you can just get some resistance you can pick up four books i don't care as long as it's adding more weight for you to use in addition to your body weight it's resistance training so you're going to want to incorporate a lot of glute exercises you're going to do some kickbacks you're going to do some squats you're going to do some walking lunging anything that's going to 
have you utilizing your glutes and that doesn't mean you have to go to the gym you can look up a youtube workout video uh go ahead and subscribe to fitness fits ashley workouts it's in the comments below so when i start uploading workouts and you guys have workout requests i can do those workouts for you so you can this will be a perfect one to start with a glutes workout um on that channel so you have to understand that just because it's back there doesn't mean it's healthy. Just imagine you taking your big stomach <clears throat> and swirling it all the way around to the back. Does that make you healthy? No. Does that give you shape? Yes. Will that give you some attention? Yes. Is that attention good attention? Is that attention is something you really want? Do you really want to be identified just for your juicy butt? Like, no. Um... So sis, you want to, you're, you're going to lose your butt, but you're going to gain it back through resistance training. And the more resistance you add, so if you start inching up to 25 and 35 and getting on the squat bar and adding some, some the heavier your weights are, and the more protein you eat, the bigger your butt is going to grow. I suggest and stress protein in every meal because that is going to give you your hourglass shape resistance training and having protein you want to have about 0.7 to a pound uh, a gram of protein per pound of body fat um if you're way overweight then you want to try to just stay within the 140 grams of protein i do not want you eating 250 grams of protein like that's just a that's just it's just a lot and you're gonna feel defeated which there are people who do that especially men who wants to get super stocky and super bulky they do that on a uh, on a given day but you want to incorporate your protein shakes you want to incorporate your protein in every meal now maybe a protein bar you want to be high on the protein if you're trying to grow your glutes and you want to incorporate resistance training it sounds like she's also on not necessarily keto but low carb which is great so with you having your insulin reduced you're going your body's going to tap out using that little bit of carbs that's in your body and start utilizing fat for energy so she is doing great i believe i took this question but maybe a month or so ago so this is not a new question that i recently saw and she's wanted to lose her stomach so she's on the right path like she's losing weight and it's coming off all over and she's noticing that her butt is going down but that's good sis that is that is a good thing you want to lose that fat off your your butt because you still can have heart attacks and strokes and you can still have health complications with a juicy booty okay you want to have a nice tone muscular booty it's nice and tight you don't have to be a hundred percent muscle but you don't want it to be all fat where it's just wiggling and shaking all out of control it's just unhealthy at that point okay if you guys have any questions that you would like for me to ask please 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 put them in the comments it helps me to create content for the channel it helps me to show up every day more i'm constantly searching on social media for real life questions this is a real person who who asked this question so i'm always searching for those questions so i can tap into that um if you've made it this far in the video you are close to finishing your 10 minute walk you guys stay blessed and always remember fitness fits you